Welcome back boys and girls to Mr. Rio's fourth grade math class. So today we're going to be talking about improper fractions, all right? So an improper fraction. Okay? So what's an improper fraction, all right? We've talked about regular fractions, but there's something wrong with an improper fraction, all right? So an improper fraction, your numerator is always going to be bigger than your denominator, all right? That's why it's kind of improper. You cannot have five pieces if you cut some a hole into two, right? So that's what uh, it's. Well, that's why it's called an improper fraction because you can't get five pieces from a hole that's cut into two. So I'm gonna draw a picture of what an improper fraction kind of looks like, all right? So we're still gonna use our denominator, and our denominator says that each hole is cut into two pieces. All right. Now, our numerator is telling us that there's five pieces that we're going to get, so it's kind of hard to really get five from two. So we're definitely going to say we're going to need several holes. All right. So that means that there is one, two, three, four, five. So that means that you're going to actually have holes. All right. And you're going to have in this fraction, in this improper fraction, we're going to need three holes, all right, because we need five pieces, all right? So that means I got one, two, three, four, and that means five, all right? We used five pieces, and they're cut into twos, all right? Each, each hole is cut into twos. So that's why it's called an improper fraction. So now, from an improper fraction, we, we can turn it into a mixed number, okay? mixed number. So that means it has a whole number and it has a fraction. How many holes are here? One, two. Two holes. Alright? And what's the fraction that's left over? One over two. So from an improper fraction, we turned it into a mixed number. Right? So um, let's do one more problem. And we're going to do an improper fraction. And let's say it's 6 out of 4, right? It's impossible to get 6 pieces from 4, right? Because, you know, that's just, that's why it's called improper. Now, so one thing, we can do a drawing. So that means we're going to need a couple of holes. One hole, and it's going to be cut into 4. Your denominator is going to tell you how many pieces you're going to have from each hole. That's 4. And that's four, right? So we need six pieces. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six. That means we got six pieces from two holes. Now, Mr. Rio, so uh, what is my uh, mixed number? So our mixed number is going to be, it's going to equal one hole, that's one hole, and two out of four. So it's not my mixed number is a two, one hole and two holes. Okay? That's one way we can change improper fractions into uh, mixed numbers. All right? So let me write it here. Mixed, a mixed number. Okay? All right, but sir, uh, what if they give me a problem that has too many pieces and I cannot draw it? Well, let me tell you, show you this trick. Okay, this trick is going to tell you, to show you uh, how to do it easy, uh, in just in case you can't draw it, all right? So, a lot of kids uh, get confused. So, let's use the same problem, okay? And I've, I've told my class that every time you see a fraction, you know, it's division. Fractions are division. As you, you, go, you buy a pie, a uh, pizza pie, you cut it into pieces, so that's division. You um, think of a set, you know, you have five pets, three uh, dogs and two cats, and now how many are cats? Well, two out of five. So you're kind of putting them in groups. So that's what uh, we're going to do. Every time, anytime you see this, it's division. So let me write it with a dark color. Six over four. And let's, let's do the division. So it's pretty much six divided 
by 4, right? 6 divided by 4. That's it. That's the easiest way to do it. And, all right, well, let's do our division like we've done before. Regular division. How many 4s fit into a 6? 1. Okay, remember, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Okay, do that loop. All right, so what's 4 times 1? 4 times 1 is 4. Okay, now what's my next step? Subtract. 2. All right, so that's my remainder. That's what's left over. And so, but we're not done, so there's nothing else to bring down. So we're going to bring this on top and put it 2. And we're going to use their divisor and put it on the bottom. So it's the same as the other one. So it's 1 and 2 fourths. Okay, so you can always use division to turn a an improper fraction to a mixed number. Okay, let me give you one more, one more problem. And remember, fractions are division. So let's say we have 8 thirds. Well, think about it. Something's wrong with it, right? We can't get 8 from 3. So now that means we're going to need some help. So let's uh, divide. Okay. 8 divided by 3. Remember your steps for division. How many 3s fit into 8? Let's do a tower. 3, 6, 9. So we said 1, 2. 2. All right. Just divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Always remember those steps. All right. So what's 3 times 2? Six. So now what's my next step? Subtract. Eight minus six is two. All right. Now that means that's your remainder that's left over. We're still gonna use it. We put it on the top, and we put the divisor becomes a denominator. So my answer should be two wholes and two thirds. So from an improper fraction, we turn it into a mixed number using division, all right? And I'm gonna show you in a model. So let's pretend we get some pies. We're gonna cut it in threes. But how many pieces are we gonna need? Eight. So let's see. Let's cut, we've got to get eight pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so you see now, with this model, you can see that you actually can visualize that they actually completed two holes. So that's what we got here, two holes. We have a fraction left, two pieces out of three. So, okay, that's the easiest way to turn an improper fraction to, into a mixed number. Just use division, but remember to follow your steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down, all right? And uh, I hope this helps you turn improper fractions to mixed numbers. And uh, if there's any questions, please feel free to text me, call me, or email me uh, and see if we can work some more problems and get more practice, more practice on this. All right. I hope you enjoyed this uh, lesson and uh, uh, keep on working on some math. It's going to help you. All right. Have a great day.